Hey guys, Caleb Wistad here, Hooked Up Wisconsin. Today I'm going to show you how to fillet a bluegill. So a lot of you guys catch bluegills. You may already know how to fillet a bluegill, but I'm going to show you three different ways to do it. I'm going to use a conventional fillet knife and I'll show you how to get the most meat you can off a of fillet with a conventional knife. Then I'm going to show you how to use a motorized electric fillet knife to really speed up the process. And the third technique, you'll just have to wait and see because it's kind of a cool little tweak on uh, bluegill filleting. So let's get started with the old conventional knife and uh, I'll show you how we get her done. All right, so the knife we're gonna be using for this is the Bubba Blade seven inch tapered flex. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for this knife, but I really like this size for bluegills. It's got a pretty good flex to it, but it's not like ultra flexible. I don't like a, a knife that's too flexible. Just the way I do it really requires a little bit of backbone. So this is the perfect knife for that. All right, so we're gonna take our bluegill. This is a typical like eight inch bluegill here. And we're gonna make our first cut by cutting right behind the gill flap here at an angle from about where the anal fin stops here. And we're gonna cut until we hit the backbone right there. Okay, so we're just gonna slice that at an angle cause you wanna get up in here because there's more meat towards the head and uh, there isn't much meat down in this part. So we want to then turn the blade. And this is just like you flay a lot of other fish. You're just gonna follow that dorsal fin, sort of moving back and forth to slice easily through the meat. Just like that, get that open up. And then all the way through when you hit about the back of the dorsal fin here. And then you can just slice with your knife angled down. You can feel it ticking the main backbone, which is runs right down the middle. You don't want to cut through that, but you just want to tick the top of it all the way to the tail and pop through. So now everything from here is free and everything to here is free. And that's where we hit that rib cage. So where you hit the rib cage, you can feel the knife ticking like this, right? You can hear that. So now you got to go up and over the rib cage. So we're going to actually turn the knife upwards and you're gonna have to slice through some thin bones right at the top of the rib cage right here they're just they're pin bones basically but they're uh, very small you can just barely feel the knife going through them then we're gonna cut down the back side of the ribs right here and then snip the fillet off so now we have one nice fillet here with the skin still on it kind of a triangle shape on the front but you can see we didn't really waste any meat at all on that fillet so now to skin it i'm going to move it to the edge of the table here so i like to move the fillet to the edge of the table when i skin because then my knife can go down past the edge of the table and i can get it nice and clean nice and low and i don't have to bend that knife i can get just go straight across just angling down just ever so slightly and there's absolutely no meat left on that skin now here's what we have left just the fillet now on a bigger bluegill anything over about eight inches i do like to take those pin bones out so i will just slice you can feel them with your with your glove there i just slice straight down on this side of them and they only go back about halfway down the fillet and then i'll just slice down on this side of them and cut those out okay so around the belly it's very thin uh, if you're going to fry this you may just want to trim that belly a little bit get that real thin stuff out of there because that doesn't fry up so well so there there's kind of a nice solid chunk of uh, bluegill meat right there no bones in it whatsoever let's do the other side quick we flip them over same thing we make the cut down the dorsal pop through and we hit those rib bones up and over now we're free now we simply take that fillet off the skin and remove those little pin bones in the middle now you don't have to they will cook out um, I just prefer to do it that way so there you have two nice bluegill fillets all done no bones ready to go all right guys another eight inch bluegill here this time we are going to clean it using the bubble lithium cordless 
uh, electric fillet knife. I'm using the thinnest set of blades on this, the shortest, thinnest blades. They're perfect for doing bluegills like this. All you have to do is make that first initial cut just like we did with the conventional fillet knife, straight down until you hit the backbone, just like that. But now you're gonna turn the blade to align with that spine and you're gonna take that whole thing off right through the rib cage. So down, turn it, and you're gonna stop just before you cut through the skin on the tail. And the reason is we wanna be able to flip that fillet over and just keep going and take the skin right off. Just like that. Now we have the fillet and the skin still attached to the fish right there. Now on this fillet, you can see we still have the rib cage and we can take that off with either this knife here or we can save them all and do it later with a conventional knife. So I'll show you how to do it with this. You're just gonna put your fingers right behind that rib cage, get the knife blade right up in there tight. And just start it up and just follow those ribs just like so. And that takes all the ribs out, super easy, super quick. Nice clean fillet there, just like that. Now we'll do the other side. Now we can take these ribs out with our conventional fillet knife if we want to. And you just do the same thing. You just start at the ribs there. And just follow them down like so. And there you have it. So now we've got our two pieces right there. Very nice fillets, super clean, and it's really, really fast. All right, guys, for this third method, I'm actually going to leave the skin on this bluegill. So I'm gonna scale it, and then we're going to fillet it and leave the skin on. So basically to scale a bluegill, you're gonna need a spoon, just a heavy duty spoon, and we're just gonna scrape the scales off this bluegill. Now, the reason I have it in this tub is because they do make a mess. The scales like to really make a mess, so I like to do them right inside this tub here. So we start at the tail and we just start scraping those scales off, just like so. You can see them coming right off there. So this skin now, where I just scraped, has no more scales on it. So we're just gonna continue that down the whole fish. Kind of make sure you get along all the fins. Do a nice once over. And they actually come off pretty easily. So there you can see we're descaled now and the skin on here will actually create a really nice flavor in the pan when we fry this fish so a lot of people prefer them this way now i'm just going to flip it do the other side and then we'll fillet it now i'm always going to rinse that off to get all the loose scales off of it before i fillet it so let's rinse that off quick and then we'll get to filleting this guy all right, now I'm just gonna fillet him with the conventional fillet knife. So again, straight down along the back, through, down, then we come up and over the rib cage here, through those little bones, just like that. And now we don't have to skin it. It's already uh, scale free and we can cook it up with that skin side on the pan get it nice and crispy that's gonna be delicious so let's do the other side down right along the spine there again through and up and over the rib cage cut through those little bones there down the other side and beautiful now that might be one of the best ways to eat bluegill right there. So if you've never tried it with the skin on, I highly encourage it. Until next time, get hooked up.